Hello everyone, welcome to the greenhouse. It's Danny. happy to have you here. As you can see, the greenhouse looks a little bit different. As I told you guys, I was selling off a bunch of plants and I want to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart for the outpouring of love and just support and even advice that some people sent me about Terry. It really, really touched my heart. I laid down, once I posted that video, I laid down and took a nap because I had a pounding headache. And I woke up to just the best comments, the best messages, and it, it touched my heart tremendously. So I wanna thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. So as you can see, I've got two fans going right now. I took everything out of the greenhouse today, everything and I let everything get a rain bath. It was raining all day, nice and cloudy and warm. So everything got a nice rain bath and I tried to get as much dust off of those shelves, clean those shelves, rearrange what plants I do have left. I have about 15 to 20 more plants that people are on their way to pick up throughout the week. And so since everything did get soap and wet, I brought a second fan in here to dry everything off and as you can see I forgot to clean that fan right there <laughs> but I want to show you guys what's in bloom I've got some new buds happening the phalaenopsis section is starting to take off so come on in we're gonna start off the bloom show with this beauty really quick all of the DE powder is off of it it's been open for about four or five days now Look at that fuzzy lip and it smells like raspberries. It really is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. This is the one I got for $5 on clearance at a local nursery. You can see I have it in that little macrame hanger and it's just, get in there. It's just a real cute orchid, especially in that little hanger. And up here we have this encyclia. This is a bag baby. And this is the first encyclia that I've ever had bloom for me. And I couldn't figure out where it smelled chocolatey in here when this first bloomed. And I couldn't figure out where the chocolatey smell was coming from. It smells like a uh, Oncidium raspberry chocolate sherry baby orchid. But I would say even a little bit stronger than a sherry baby. I really enjoy that smell. My Sunlight Hilo Honey, this one right here, will probably be opening, I'd say in about a week and a half, two weeks. Beautiful yellow blooms that do smell like honey. Lovely, lovely Oncidium. So this is a Phalaenopsis that I got from Trader Joe's that you guys have pre previously seen. This beauty, look at that beautiful mauve color. Isn't that gorgeous? and the spikes are starting to open. Look how pretty, look at that lip. I mean, really just take a look at how detailed that lip is and that sunset color against that blush pink. My goodness, it's beautiful. And check out the branching on this Phalaenopsis here. I'd say that's a happy camper. And then over here, this one just popped open yesterday. As you can see, I really like my warm colors. I love my warm colors. This here belongs to a rescue. This is one of my very, very first rescue Phalaenopsis from, well, that I got to survive for maybe two years, three years ago. And it's sending off another spike right here. This one, I just recently repotted it. And so it did blast a couple buds and blooms faded a little bit faster, but these ones are looking gorgeous. And this one's fragrant and this one's fragrant as well. Now, Miss Rustic Spots is opening up more new blooms for me. 
This orchid just makes me smile, you guys. It just makes me smile. She's got more back there. I love that orchid. And I'm really excited. Looky there. I guess I didn't do too good a job cleaning off this one, did I? And this one is also growing. I don't know if that's gonna be a flower spike or a cakey yet. It's growing a lot slower than this flower spike. So I'm thinking it might be a cakey. And my favorite, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite orchid is going to be blooming soon. This is a little no ID yellow spotted brassavola that I, I am obsessed with. I will never get rid of this orchid. I love this orchid. I can't wait to show you the blooms again. Over here, Fowl Fairy Tail opened up a new bloom and it's bringing on a new spike. We have a bunch of Bellinas back there. The Phalaenopsis Ludamaniana is just chugging along. Everything looks so pretty with those raindrops on them. You lost your marbles. You lost your marbles. <laughs> Phalaenopsis Bellina. I'll show you the ID. This one is from orchids.com. Beautiful fragrance on it. And it's got another big old bud right there. Another one coming along. We have another Bellina coming along right there. And where is it? Violacea sent up another new spike right here. This here is my oldest Cattleya type orchid. I know it's little, I know it's a tiny, just now blooming for me for the very first time. But I bought it, it was my very first eBay purchase. I purchased it for $3. And this is the original leaf. So you can see just how tiny it was when I got it. And I'm so excited to finally see what it's gonna be. Over here we have Dendrobium Microship Blooms coming along. Um, we have Elsie Big Time Number Two. There's a bud in there. Why Not is still going strong. And I am just so in love with this orchid. It is just sending out flower spikes and blooms galore. Let me show you the ID really quick. It's from orchids.com just in case you want to get it. I love it. I have not been able to detect a fragrance on it. I get the babyest, slightest fragrance that I can detect. Nothing to write home about at all, but goodness gracious. Phalaenopsis tetraspis alba is opening again and sending out a third spike. I got a spike back there. So lots of new blooms to show you guys soon that I'm excited about. And again, I just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for all the love and the support. Happy growing. Stay safe. Till next time.